What's up world? I'm Jay Grow with the Grow Properties team at Keller Williams in the Mohawk Valley. How you doing? So listen, in today's episode of Real Estate Fun with Jay and One, we're gonna talk about what you gotta do with the lighting around your house now that, oh wait, the sun's never out. And I feel like I'm an Eskimo living in Alaska or something in perpetual land of darkness. We have to accommodate that now that you know, you've got these people coming through your house. We wanna make sure that you nail these showings, right? So we're gonna to talk today about the appropriate amount of lighting. Now, what I tend to find is that people, people do this one of three ways. They either have way too much lighting, and I kind of feel like I'm on this Bahama vacation minus the pleasant temperatures and attractive, scantily clad individuals wandering the beachside, okay? Or they get inappropriate lighting. Or, even worse, no lighting, okay? No lighting! Excuse me while I fend off the lawsuit. Ah! Okay, so really, ah, you know, no lighting, the lighting's the worst. No lighting, epic fail, okay? Please, please, bad, bad, bad. You wanna make sure that you have the perfect amount of lighting. You want your buyers to feel comfortable, warm, welcome, loved, and um, so that they can see as they walk through the house. Don't forget that little tiny tidbit of information. So have your lights on, have them appropriately on. Don't have them all on unless you feel like blinding them. But think about, think about how you want your house to show. Think about how beautiful it all is. And of course, when you're thinking about selling your home, you better think about the J. Grow Group Realtors and the Grow Properties team at Keller Williams of the Mohawk Valley. So as always, any questions you've got, folks, please feel free to give me a call. I'm Jay with the Grow Properties team at Keller Williams of the Mohawk Valley. Thanks so much and happy holidays.